Attention gamers. A few months ago I took a break from League of Legends to hopefully become a happier person by playing a 20 year old game with more bugs in it than a beehive and while it was a nostalgic blast from the past, I felt myself craving the rift. Then Riot released this absolute masterpiece, and I started to think damn maybe all that Lux skin sales profit is being put to good use as this quality was better than any scene from Barbie and they didn't even have Ryan Gosling to work with. This made me think maybe this means they will actually balance their game this season. Nope. Before seeing that they are removing mythics changing the map, adding these Rift Herald sperm cells, and making a bunch of improvements so I figured it was time to return, so that I could feel the power of that sweet sweet one shot once again. Bruh. And while League Without Mythics is a new change of pace, there's exciting things coming to the mobile game space. No I'm not talking Wild Rift or Crushing Candies, it's actually an insane collab for us Raidy Shady Randies. You see in Raid there's already plenty to do, with over 800 champs to play. Other mobile games graphics are doo doo. But kids today, would say, that Raid's graphics absolutely slay. Between the dwarfs, the demons, the war chicks who are scantily clad. Every champ fills a role which means no champs are truly bad, well other than this guy. But I'm excited to announce that between now and March 5th, Raid's world is colliding with a famous gaming monolith. Monster Hunter has officially joined the Raid Collabs team, and now players can collect 5 champions with a Monster Hunter theme. Everyone will get Rathalos Blademaster just by logging in 7 days before this date. And then 4 other champs will be collected from in-game events which are great, so while League is getting updates and adding things that are new. Raid is doing insane collabs and pushing new stuff too, like the new Cursed City update with 100 stages to complete, including quests and bosses just waiting to be beat. So use my link below or scan this QR code, to get on the Raid slash Monster Hunter collab road. You'll receive Silver XP Chicken and other rewards that are badass. Plus more once in game for players who use promo code Raid X Mass. So try Raid, join my clan, and let's get back to Summoner's Rift game mode. I decided to pop my season 14 cherry as an ADC because I always come back to this toxic relationship only for a few randoms to tell me that the best marksman in the current meta is actually a mage so naturally I ignore those normies unlocking this British sex pistol. I chose to cheese for a bit of tickle instead of getting my first 3 CS because it may be a new season but it's the same old me bitches and let's just say that my little glitter tits was determined to have someone chance up diff while I was busy looking for my reflexes. We push in but my quasi lesbian lover from arcane comes in trying to fist me and even though lore says I'd be into it, I'm not a fan of PDA so I tell her I'm not interested while giving her a wink so that she knows the second some wall hacking horn dog comes in to even out this orgy I will be chasing that ass like a puppy only to accidentally bust my nut on Obama's wife instead. But then she had the nerve to suggest I be casual which in 2024 League of Legends is just an absurd request so she had to learn her lesson. So yeah nothing like a warm welcome back to League like laning against a Senna who is about as useful as the two wards in her pocket which let Kane make it rain and I was about to bring the pain when her traveling EDM rave just barely manages to escape my wrath. We chase because we are just tethered to Silver Elo deep down before executing a dive on par with what I would assume intermediate bots are programmed to perform. But for some reason when their team saw us about to take first tower bot they sent just this bumbling muppet to defend it. Wait a minute. Okay yeah they got first tower but that's just because I wanted to bait Senna into this.
So yeah my first game as ADC was going smoother than a lubed bathtub and when I saw the feeding traveling circus known as their bot lane overextended I figured me and Molten Marshall over here were about to cook only for him to ask the ghost of his dead pappy to sub in for him as I forgot that I'm squishier than a flaccid dick and learned that being fed doesn't stop me from being dead and I'd have to play it safer moving forward. For example when the hunchback of all chat flame approached a minute later I lent him the net I was gonna use on my crab fishing excursion later but when he ran away refusing to give it back I had to kneel down and put a buck shot between his butt cheeks to teach him a lesson. But I had to rush back to base because Tweedledee and Tweedledum as shit Senna over here were knocking at the front door asking if anyone was around to give them directions back to their own base so I didn't hesitate and showed each of them the fastest way. It's worth mentioning that if I was fed then the enemy team Zari was Giga Optimus Prime Mukbang's a fucking Taco Bell fed but the good thing about being an ADC is that my right click button is a bit hard to mess up which opened me up to enforce the Piltover law for the rest of the fight. Until it was just one fleeing wide hip Betty left, thinking she's gonna get away but it had been months since I last heard the announcer say that one word. And just to give you an idea of how much this Ari was feasting on the IQ deficient players on my team all game. The very fight after I nabbed a fat one grand bounty off her and she came back trying to charm me into show her my British biddies I scored another full bounty off her again. Now I have a superstition with my one friend you may know him as Heisman that casinos somehow make it so that first time visitors always leave their casino with more money than they came in with on their first night there is a strategy to give birth to a violent and toxic addiction and considering this was my first game of league in months and I was given one of these. I'm now convinced that Riot is doing the same thing. Anyways the pattern of their bot lane acting like a split pushing scion and just jamming their dick into our bot lane inhibitor all game continued which was hilarious considering Kane would eat both of them in like 3 bites and my ult was getting dangerously close to one shotting little miss thresh fetish. I had so much gold that I fully rebranded at this point to emphasize that I support rolling the dice on some crits and this proved to be a wise decision. So my first game back to league and my first experience in season 14 was surprisingly fun as shit and I was thinking this is going to be an awesome season until I got smacked with some Riot Games reality in game 2. Introducing Ezreal, my support in game 2 that I was oh so lucky to have by my side. I'm still trying to wrap my brain around some of the decisions he made when it came to running back to safety versus making an abrupt UE back to dead bitchville but when he wasn't force feeding the enemy he was afking in bushes so yeah he died 13 times and that was a good reminder of the league that I left which brought us to game 3. I chose to play an old favorite pop star Pamela Anderson because it gives me something to look at in loading screen and I opted into playing a quick game of peekaboo early which left bewitched bitch Jana begging for mercy and things only got worse when we all got our ults. Reaper Randy over here thought that channeling a waterfall when I bought front row seats to his performance would be a good idea so he and his side chick had to pay the big titted piper here. I then decided to get comfortable with all this new season terrain by seeing if I could do a reach around gumball ballistics test which was successful and I can't believe I'm saying this, but it felt pretty easy to get fed on an ADC. So I know in probably a week I will eat my words but first impressions are feeling like the season is fun and my champs are strong so with that I just want to say, use my link below to try raid shadow legends today and thank them for sponsoring my content. Rav out.